This shall not be posted. I'm just sharing with myself. I've been very down. So down. I'm coming and being back here. Oh, my God. I've lived here for 27 years and I haven't been terribly happy. But it's a nice apartment and I pay very low rent. But I pay in such big ways and other ways. And when the sun's out, it's nice. It's near the beach, near Bronte Beach, a very healing beach. And I jump in those seas and I wash it all the way. You know, I've done that for years and years because, you know, I think I'm very fish-like. But where I live, you know, I live above a person who once had me arrested and put in the back of a paddy wagon just for being me, really. And um, many ups and downs and, you know, she's... She's, um, she's, you know, she likes to police the building and she's got armour and she's, you know, she's like a, she watches it. Oh, my God, it's just very restrictive, you know, and, you know, I, I like to sing and jump around and she doesn't even listen to music or anything like that. So that, that gets hard. Plus, you know, she, you know, she's just, she's territorial. I can't park in the parking spot, which we're all meant to share. All that kind of stuff. And um, and then, you know, that huge property, that big property, you know, I go and stay in the bush to get away from that territorial person to a bit of freedom. And my sister, Cherry, who I co-own all this land with, ever since, and there's been many ups and downs in our relationship. Um, But she's got a major... You know, she wants to be free. I want to be free. She wants me She's to buy her out for $450,000. Where do I find that money from? And she's got a major, major, major hoarding problem. You know, she you can hardly move in her house. And, and it's so terribly sad the way she lives. And she's always been difficult. And ah, But I don't know. I usually... I usually like to sing a song to forget about all these these problems and things. And I don't even go out and perform, you know, and, you know, humiliate myself socially. But <laughs> at least it's getting out. I can't even sing here. I don't know. I've, I've reached rock bottom. I, I need to win money tonight. Then I'll be really happy. Eight million dollars that I'd buy out my sister. And, um, you know, I'd cope with living here for a while uh, until I moved. And I'd go for a holiday. Yeah. Anyway. So apparently it's all a dream. I, I, I'd like to wake up now. <laughs> well. Anyway, I'm very sad and I've got no energy. That's unusual for me. Well, no, it's not. I've hardly, you know, yeah. But, you know, I usually get a bit of inspiration in the morning anyway just sharing all this crazy thing called life this is zelda's life i was given this name zelda and, and this is the life and i don't know what to do and i've never been uh, uh, money get a job well you know I'm, I'm a performing type you know even though i'm not very good at it but it's fun isn't it just want to have fun Life, life should be about having a bit of fun, not all just struggle and misery and restriction and limitation and bad health and, uh, and sadness and turmoil. No, you should have, I believe in having joy, joy, pick up the energy, have fun. Yes, you must not let all this stuff pull you down. Especially for other people's restrictions, not particularly yours. You gotta get those wings out and it's flying high. Maybe other people get jealous of my ability to want to do that and want to pull you down. No, you must not let them pull you down. Keep going, whatever. Just rest, take it easy. <laughs>